Hello and welcome back to my First Class University YouTube channel. This video is going to be all about how to critically evaluate a journal article, which is a key skill you need to master whilst you're doing an undergraduate or postgraduate course at a university. You'll often be asked to view, read, find out and then critically evaluate journal articles to help you prepare your own essays or reports. So I think there are 12 points to consider here. The first one is what is the purpose of the article? Why was the article written? Who wrote it? What were they trying to achieve in doing so? Was it just for their own sort of fame and glory? Or did they have um, an interesting um, result from their research that they want to spread out into the wider world? The second point is to think about the type of journal from which the article uh, was published. Has the journal been peer reviewed? Peer reviewed means that when an author wants to publish their paper in a journal, then the journal editor will arrange for independent scholars to read that article and pass judgment on it and review the article and to see if it is uh, factually correct, um, how is it presented and other key points to make that article more robust and uh, reasonable and uh, valuable for the audience who are going to read it. So is the journal um, peer reviewing the articles that they publish? But also, is it a scholarly journal or is it what's called a predatory journal? A predatory journal is a kind of lower class journal. Usually predatory journals uh, require the authors to pay to publish their work. And so they're open to a lot of abuse and uh, negative results that can really harm uh, research and the publications that are published through those predatory journals. So you want to make sure that you're finding articles that are in peer reviewed journals and that are a proper academic and scholarly nature. The third point is to think about the content and the organization of the article that you're reading. Is it presented well? Are there typing errors, grammatical errors? What about the structure and the layout of that paper? Is it easy to follow? Are there clear subheadings? Is it written in understandable language? The fourth is to consider the bias of the article's um, author. Bias means that the author is pushed or swayed or convinced of one particular uh, line of thought or direction in that work. So that could be a political bias or a financial bias. You know, if um, let's say a big oil company is funding your research, then that research might be biased in favour of that funding organisation. The fifth article, sorry, the fifth point to think about is the date of publication. When was the article published? Is it new or is it uh, a bit older? Is it up to date or perhaps out of date? The sixth point is to think about the authority of the authors. How um, authoritative are those people? Are they academics at the cutting edge of their uh, field of research? Or are they perhaps journalists writing uh, interesting pieces about that research area? Or are they just somebody with an opinion who really isn't qualified but just telling you their thoughts through that article that you have in front of you. The seventh point is the coverage of the article. Does it cover everything it needs to to give you the fullest, broadest and most robust information about that topic that it's written about? Does it cover just partial or does it cover fully everything it needs to? If it's only a partial coverage, then perhaps you're not getting the full picture. Think about the audience type for that journal article. Usually uh, a journal website or um, a journal itself will have details somewhere 
that identifies the type of audience that it is targeting in its publications. So think about that. Is it a technical sort of um, audience or is it a lay audience that don't have that technical understanding? Is it a popular kind of uh, audience that they're trying to target? It'll all make a difference about how that article is written and presented to you. The ninth point is to think about and try and identify the illustrations and the aesthetics of the article. Are there illustrations in that article that help you understand better and more fully what the authors are trying to put across to you? Does the article actually look nice? Does it look enticing? Does it look interesting? Does it grab you uh, in, um, in how it works, how it looks, how it's presented? And if it does grab you, that will pull you in and make you want to read it some more. The tenth point is the context of the article. What is the context, the background, um, the sort of uh, area in which that article is published? What's going on in the wider world outside the boundary of the contents of that article? Has the article got an impact? Is it impactful? The eleventh point to consider about the article when you're critically evaluating it is to think about is it ethically um, correct? Are the ethics met in the research methodology or the things that it is uh, describing in the article? Are there things that feel a little bit uncomfortable with respect to the ethics of how the researcher has gone ahead uh, with their research? Or have they met all the ethical considerations correctly and properly? And so um, that in itself will tell you that the researcher has some uh, good credentials. And the twelfth and last point, I think, is to think about the uh, methodology that is described in that article. For example, has the researcher conducted appropriate statistical methods? Are they easy to understand? Have they been described well? Instead of that quantitative approach, perhaps the researcher is using more qualitative uh, research methods. Perhaps they're doing a case study, perhaps they've sent out questionnaires, perhaps they're doing a focus group, something like that. Well, have they taken the appropriate steps to make sure that their methods are correct and how they should be? So there you are, 12 steps to help you critically evaluate articles, especially journal articles. Just to recap, number one, what's the purpose of the article? Number two, What's the type of the journal that the article was published in? Number three, what's the content and the organization of that article like? Number four, are there any biases within the work? The fifth is, is the article up to date or not? Sixth, what about the authority of the people who've written the article? Seven, what's the coverage of the article? Is it partial or fully covering the area? Number eight, what's the type of audience? Number nine, the aesthetics and the illustrations used in the article. Number 10, the context and the background to the article. Number 11, the ethics of the research that are described in the article. And number 12, have the authors used the appropriate methods when they've undertaken that research described in that article. Hopefully that helps you prepare your literature reviews, your reports or your essays uh, in your work. Have a great day. Thanks very much. Thanks for listening. Bye now.